sometimes I like making these when there is something hugely significant happening um, somewhere else uh, like the match or something like that yeah um, I'm not sure why it's it maybe it feels like it's um, bringing some kind of a balance to the day um, either way there's a nice there's very much a piece to doing that and there's a piece around um, me when I'm actually um, going somewhere like that very quiet or when everything else is very crazy or going to the sea um, and obviously there's no one around <laughs> because everybody's watching the match um, and again that's just my choice yeah um, I would like to talk more about um, going in together um, there's a lot to talk about in terms of that term um, and I would like to delve into it more maybe in a few different um, episodes so to start um, I would like to acknowledge people's acknowledgement of it um, and that it does exist um, there are probably many questions around how it would uh, coexist with maybe a conventional relationship or how it would work in terms of um, creating a structure or it's surviving within the construct that we've created already um, in this universe, yeah? So in terms of relationship, um, if you're in a conventional relationship, uh, have you made some connection outside of that um, with somebody else? Um, and has that been an issue? Has that um, created some problem um, for the other person? Um, have they had some reaction to that? Have you been faced with a decision or an ultimatum? Because they have some um, issue around you pursuing that or um, I suppose maintaining that connection, yeah? Um, do they have a fear around that connection becoming deeper? Do you have a fear um, around your relationship being affected by that? So really, really and truly there are about a million questions and a million different variables involved in this type of way of being in the world, yeah? Um, there's just so much to it and it there it's not an exact science, um, which is why it's kind of so exciting because it you can be so creative with it. It's really, really creative and it it gives you a, an amount of freedom that you just can genuinely cannot imagine in this moment you know um like the amount of freedom that you can create for yourself um in this lifetime is just amazing you could actually um make choices for yourself whether that's with the, with your partner or with somebody else or um I suppose what I'm trying to say is that if your choice is to stop learning and growing in that way because you have been um, you have been offered an ultimatum and you have chosen to stay in a situation um, where your freedom is based on somebody else's choice um, and you're happy with that then that is absolutely great um, if you want something more, if you want to learn more, if you want to grow more, if you want a deeper connection in terms of freedom, because let's face it, if somebody was very comfortable with themselves and really and truly loved themselves and was um, hugely giving of themselves in terms of freedom, then they would give you the same. They would allow you the same. There'd be an, a, a huge allowance for that. So if, there, if that isn't there, then that person isn't giving that to themselves either yeah maybe you're happy with that okay i'm on here to talk about that situation and um those relationships what i'm here so i'm here to talk about the new way of being yeah um so if you want something outside of convention or you are in convention yeah um how much freedom do you allow yourself and how much of your choices are based on what the other person wants of you or of the relationship um, 
I see I see it a lot. Um, I've been in it a lot. Um, I know situations where people have um, made connections outside of their relationship. Um, it hasn't been um, received well. Um, I have been in situations where I have connected with people that are in a relationship, conventional relationship. Um, again, not received well. And it's only really now I'm seeing and feeling and sensing the beauty and the freedom around um, loving that type of connection. Because within that type of connection, there is so much growth and there is so much learning. But there's also an indication as to how much we have um, a limitation based on ourselves. Yeah, That type of connection... And I'm sure there's been a million people that have gotten in trouble for something like that, okay? Um, that type of connection absolutely shows you uh, what type of freedom or what level of freedom that you have. Or if, it, if you even have any freedom at all, okay? Um, if, you, if you like freedom, then you need it in your life. Like you, you know, um, we go out and we drink, you know, we go out and we distract ourselves with other things. Freedom is what we're really looking for, yeah, and that kind of freedom we find when we go out and we um, look for it through different substances, um, through different activities. Personal inner freedom is really where it's at, and that can only, only come if you honour yourself fully. This is a huge ask of, of for anybody to honour themselves fully because we have, there's so many variables involved, there's so many people involved. And to reach that level of freedom um, takes a lot of work and it takes a lot of sacrifice in terms of um, what you believe to be sacrifice. Like there's, there's a huge loss in leaving a part of yourself um, in order to honour yourself actually. Do you know? Um, it's like leaving a part of an old self or an old way of being um, to fully, fully engage in honouring yourself. And that's something that is, it's a huge leap for anybody um, to move into that quarter, yeah? It is It is out there though, you know? It is available, um, even on some level to have it. For example, you could be in a relationship and you could decide, okay, um, I, you know, I, I always wanted to do X, mm -hmm. Y, or Z, yeah. Um, and you could talk about that. You could, you could arrive at some, I suppose, some kind of agreement with your partner. Um, there are so many different layers involved in going in together rather than going out together, yeah. And maybe I will pick, maybe if anyone has any questions, it's really a good place to start. Um... Also, I could pick different types of scenarios where um, I could maybe explain a bit further how you could get there, yeah? Um, I'm absolutely, fully, 100% aware that this is a hugely radical um, way of being in the world. And it's, it probably sounds like, it probably sounds really out there in terms of what we do right now in terms of conventional relationship. Um, and I'm aware there's a huge difference between what I'm talking about and what people actually do. Um, seriously in the minority here, you know, um, which is why it makes it difficult. And in another way, like, you know, I have had situations where um, <clears throat> I have connected to people. Um, one in particular jumps out, but I've connected to somebody um, very closely and there was a fear around maybe that kind of connection or um it being so different yeah and and it's it not being it definitely unexplainable in that moment yeah um and that created i suppose its own wave of um of destruction yeah um what looked like destruction what, what was actually like an awakening of deeper connection um and that type of situation um, would be extremely difficult to hold unless both people knew what it was or um, 
I suppose wanted to acknowledge uh, what was actually happening. I wanted to I wanted to acknowledge the depth of that. Yeah, um, just a huge a huge huge like chasm of learning there. Do you know? Um, in terms of connection, and I'm sure you've met somebody at some point where you completely recognize them. You've no idea where that could have been before because you don't recognize their face, but you recognize their essence and their being. And you know that you feel like you've met them before or that you know them like instantaneously, yeah. Um, I just think the connection is absolutely important. And if we were more sure of ourselves and we were more comfortable in our own skin and if we really, really committed to freedom, then none, none of us would own anything. And I had this talk the other day. If I own nothing, then nothing owns me. And that covers a multitude. In a lot of relationships, um, ownership comes up, I think, at some point. It mightn't be there at the start, you know, um, but it does creep in. Um, and again, this is a result of uh, the closed um, uh, environment or those like a very restrictive um, limitation around a relationship and around who you can who you can talk to who you can't talk to what you do um, which is based which a lot of could be based on what the other person wants you to do yeah so around that type of limitation that grows under your feet um, there are other things that are created um, like ownership so if you and if, if you feel that that's there, if you feel there's an ownership in and around your relationship, um, it's because you also feel like you own something there as well of the other person, yeah? So if, when I think of if I owned nothing, nothing owns me, um, that creates a huge likeness for me around um, what I really, really want for myself, you know? And it, it raises you to something in your body it's in your body right but that actually it creates some kind of a space where there's some kind of a lift within your body um and there's no attachment there there's no attachment so without attachment then nothing can manifest and nothing can grow um stale yeah it's like it's like flying above the radar you know um yeah and that's a nice, it's a nice feeling, it's a nice flow, um, and it is possible, it's very, very possible. Um, very interested here in talking about going in together, talking about relationship, talking about um, that new way of flying, yeah? Um, and I'm absolutely certain that you know what I am talking about. Um, and the question is, are you willing to live out the rest of your life without that on that note i will leave you guys thanks for listening bye bye